picked this old brass tap up from a car boot fair. When I go to car boots, I'm always looking for locks, but I'm also looking for something I can make tools out of. And anything with a T piece on it, like a tap, is a great thing to use for a lever lock tension tool. Now, if you watch my channel, you'll know I've made lots and lots of different tension tools for lever locks out of all sorts of different things, but I've never made one out of a tap yet. But you can see, you've got your two little handles and then you can run a, a wire down the middle, stick a key in the end, and that'll make a cool little tension tool. I'm just gonna clean this up first, and then I'll show you what I've made. I've cleaned it up. All I've done is soak that in some white vinegar overnight, and then just got the wire brush on it. So it's all nice and clean now, so we can start stripping this apart. I've took the tap apart, I've cut that off. That's the only bit I need out the tap. So we're gonna use this brass key, and we're gonna cut the end off, drill an hole in that stick that into there and we'll have a go at picking a lock with it. These are really simple to make. You can use anything, like I say, if you're going around car boot fairs or markets, anything what's got a T section on it, hasn't got to be brass, any material, well, that's all you've got to do basically, is drill an hole through the end and stick a key on it and obviously take the bitting off the key and just leave a little smaller right. So we'll do that now and then we'll pick a lock open with it. So this is what I've come up with, a little tension tool made out of a tap. Basically, all I've done is I've forced that key in. As you can see, I've not drilled it. I've not put anything in to stop it slipping. It's just in really tight. It won't slip, and if it does slip, then you're putting too much tension on the lock when you're picking it. So that's it, that's the finished product. Really easy to make. So if you've got an old tap line around, make yourself a tension tool. So I might as well show you it working. I have picked this lock quite a few times before. That's a bit in on the key. And we'll just show you it working and what i'm going to do is i'm going to give this tension tool to somebody not the pick wire i've run out of wire at the moment so i can't make any wires but i will give this little tap tension tool to anybody wherever you are in the world that you must have previously commented on one of my videos and if you want to make a video then you can just put in it hashtag brummies tap and you're welcome to do that, but you don't have to do that. Just comment below that you want the attention tool. And if you've commented previously, I'll put you in the at for the draw. If you want to do a video, that's fine. Like I say, you've not got it. I just want to see this little tap tension tool being used by somebody else. And like I say, if it spins, you put in too much tension. There you go, we get the open. If it does spin, you put in too much tension on it. But if it does eventually get a little bit loose in there, all you've got to do is drill a small hole inside and tap a little bit of brass in, or you could even uh, thread it and put a little grub screw in it, or you could just physically pull this back out, but it is in tight, and you could just put some super glue in there or some uh, uh, lock tight in there or whatever. So that's all you're gonna be getting, no pick wires, just this little tiny uh, tension tool made out of a tap. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Try a bit.